Hey everybody, it's Josh, the 980 Know-It-All, coming to you today to kind of give you guys an idea of where I want to take the site as well as the social media platforms in the year 2020 and beyond. So there's going to be some things this year that are going to be different than what we've done in the past few years. A lot of things are going to be the same. I'm not going to make big changes other than a few little things uh, that are more personal for me, uh, just kind of moving forward uh, into the future. Um, but really, I just want to kind of give you guys an update, kind of let you guys see what's going on. Uh, and just kind of, you know, bring you on board to be a part of the 90 Know It All Empire. But before we get going, I do want to ask you if you're watching this video uh, and you go to YouTube, please click like, um, leave a comment below talking about things you want to see uh, with the site in 2020. And then if you haven't subscribed to the channel, also subscribe. This gives us a chance to uh, interact with you in kind of a different way. We do obviously the blog post we do twitter we do facebook instagram but really it's youtube is kind of the direction i'm going to go a little bit more this year just because it gives me the opportunity to uh, express myself a little bit easier i'm far more um, adept at talking interacting vocally i'm not a great writer uh, i don't really even enjoy writing a whole lot which is why a lot of times you'll see blog posts come out from Kelly or a number of our amazing guest writers and not for me because I'm not the most comfortable when it comes to writing and that type of stuff. I would rather really be in front of a camera or be in front of a group. So that's why I'm, I'm going to focus more this direction, which is kind of one of the little changes we're going to make. I've done YouTube in the past. I actually stopped for a little while because I wasn't really happy with what the content that I was creating. So I spent the last few months really kind of digging in and learning more not just about video and YouTube, but also about photography. That's been one of the things I've really focused on, um, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. But the first real change I'm making this year is going to be the topics that I discuss both on YouTube and on the site uh, with the blog posts we write. Uh, for the last few years, I've had a lot of fun writing posts, talking about my love for the game. I love reading all the uh, guest posts that we have, especially the what baseball means to me, uh, you know, it's just it's been a lot of fun seeing those. But one of the things I've really felt kind of a, a desire to do is to write posts that maybe aren't the most positive. And as you know, for not any know it all, my goal has always been to be um, a, a force to grow the game of baseball and softball in a positive way to help things go in a, in a direction that you know encourages a new younger fan base. Uh, draws more people to the game and so I've tried to stay away from negative articles and negative topics but I've kind of almost felt cheated myself that I haven't been able to do that so this year I'm going to really go in and be honest completely with the things I write about now in the past what I've done is I would write an article that maybe has some negative tone to it and then I would write a counter argument or different things like that so that way I'd kind of balance it out but this year, I'm not going to limit myself to that. Um, you know, I've been honest with my articles in the past, but I haven't been complete. I haven't been, felt free enough to really write about everything that I want to write about. So this year, I'm going to, you know, let loose, go after it. You know, I'm still going to try and do as much positive stuff as possible because I still want to grow the game. And I still have limitations on myself. I'm never going to call out uh, younger players. Major League players do something stupid. I'm going to call them out, you know, that type of thing. But high school players, even college players, you know, short of really doing something serious and illegal, I'm not going to call people out. You know, a high school player who has a bad game or does something um, on the field that, you know, was bad, I'm not going to call that out because I, I just don't think that's something I should do. I don't think it's right for anyone to do. Even the college level, you know, guys on the field make mistakes. They make errors. Yes, some of those guys are very talented, high-level Division One players, but they're still, in my opinion, kids in a lot of ways. So I, I don't, I'm never going to do that. Never going to cross that line. Um, but coaches who, you know, take advantage of kids, coaches who uh, put kids at risk, I'm going to call those things out and be completely honest. Um, with a lot of stuff that's happening in Major League Baseball right now, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to go out there and and say what I feel. Uh, but once again, I'm going to try and be honest and not be negative just to be negative. I'm gonna try and be, you know, someone who calls out things that need to be changed in the hopes that things will be changed to make things better. That's the goal, to make things better. Sometimes you have to look at things in a negative light 
to know what needs to be changed. And that's kind of my goal. My focus, still going to do all the positive stuff. I still want to see the What Baseball Means to Me articles coming in because I love those. Those are so much fun. So little changes there, you know. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, even with Patreon, I actually stopped our Patreon account and because I didn't want the people who were supporting me and so awesome for doing that uh, to feel like they had to stick with me and continue to financially support me uh, with the changes that we're making. So I stopped the account and I actually restarted it. So that way, if people look at what I'm doing and say, hey, you know what? We still want to support you. We still want to be uh, a part of that group that keeps 90 Note All going, then that's awesome. But I wanted people to be aware that I'm making a change and I didn't want them to feel obligated and uncomfortable to have to decide between supporting me even if they didn't necessarily agree with what I was doing. But like I said, we're not making big changes, but I just felt it was right. I talked to my wife and you know she thought that if that's the way I felt, I needed to act on it. So um, second thing, right up there, like I just mentioned, Patreon, I restarted it. I've got some things on there that I'm really hoping uh, to get some supporters. One, because running the site and doing all that I do costs money. I mean, it costs, it costs quite a bit. Just to keep the site active and running, it cost me $400 last year. Uh, that's just to have the site, not any note all, to be able to put photos on there. That doesn't count getting to games, doesn't count you know, uh, gas, time, all that stuff. And, and I know that a lot of people say, well, you know, sell photos. And I do that. But if you know me or you've ever seen what I do, I also give away photos for free all the time. And so by having Patreon supporters, it helps me to know that when I go to games, even if I know I'm not going to make money selling photos, I still at least have that support and that foundation to be able to go and, and provide memories. You know, because if you've ever listened to me talk about why I do photos, the main reason is because when I was growing up, I have no photos of me playing sports. You know, I, I did sports in college, I did sports in high school, and I have no action shots of me doing anything. I have my, you know, my team photo, I have my trading card photo, the bat on the shoulder, but I have nothing action-wise. So I wanna have memories for new players, younger players, their families, that they can have and keep for years, uh, something that I can't go back and get. So that's why I do that. That's why I provide so many free photos. But that's why I'm also asking, once again, for people to go to Patreon, you know, sponsor me. It's a monthly thing, whether it's $3 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month. Every little bit helps. It really does. It makes a big difference to know that I have that support financially to get me to places to be able to do things that I want to do. And with Patreon, there are bonuses to that. If you donate $5 a month, then I will make sure that I give you links to any games that you're connected to, whether you have a son or a daughter playing for a college team that I cover or a summer league team. I will send you links to photos that have no watermarks, they're completely clear, free for you to download and use however you want to. So that's one of the perks. Uh, you now I also have like the $10 and $25 and $50 different levels. And those things, you know, if you're with me long enough, I'll give you I'm gonna send you a free shirt, a free sweatshirt, things like that. I even have special other things that are included. There's a link down in the description below that you can go to and you can see all the different perks of being a supporter. Plus, if I get enough supporters, I'm gonna start creating little uh, scholarships so that players in the local area who can't afford registration fees to play baseball or softball, I'm gonna help sponsor those. I'm gonna sponsor a couple teams if I get enough supporters. So I don't wanna just take this money in and and use it for me. I want it to actually be kind of funneled together and then used to help out players and teams in the local area as well. So that's part of the goal, part of what I'm looking at for 2020. Another big change I'm going to make is for the most part, any photos I take and post on the website are going to have watermarks on them. Uh, one of the main reasons for that is because last year I had a number of people, uh, more than a few times, take photos that, that I had taken, put on the website, and they download them, which is fine. I say you can do that. But then they sent them to newspapers and took credit for those photos or failed to give me credit. Um, they also would use them in a number of different ways that I don't want my photos being used. So I'm going to do watermarks uh, just to protect, you know, 
the material that I put out there. So that's going to be something that's different, and that's also the reason why I wanted to change Patreon a little bit. Uh, there still are going to be photos available that don't have the watermarks on. I have a new uh, website for my photography. It's Smug Mug, where you can go and buy individual photos with no watermark and have those. Um, the photos I do put on the website with watermarks are free to download, free to use. I did that last year with the Baseball Northwest Championships, and I love seeing the guys download my photos and use them for their social media profile photos. I loved it. It was awesome. You know, and all it is, it just had 90 know it all across the middle of it, um, which, you know, wasn't even that bad. I actually tried to keep it pretty faint, uh, kind of down lower so it wasn't in the main picture area. So that's what I'm going to do. Do a lot more watermarks. Photos are still going to be, <coughs> excuse me, still going to be available without watermarks. It's just going to be a small fee, which once again will help me get out to more games. So, um, you know, those are really two of the biggest changes. You know, getting out to, you know, take photos is still my number one priority, still my number one thing with the site. I know I went to 175 games last year. I think I took 78,000 photos. This year, probably not going to be quite as high, except I've already got more tournaments on my calendar this year than I did last year. Already got uh, a plan to go to Arizona again this October at least once maybe even twice, depending on how things play out. So I got a lot of things going on. You know, I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing, hoping you're enjoying the, the articles that are going out, the photos that I'm taking, the videos I'm making now, especially this year, I'm going to really have a lot more fun with the videos. Uh, I even have the goal of making a couple documentaries. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. I'm not great when it comes to video, but... You know, there's a, a YouTuber that I watch and he and he flat out said, it's better to do it and try and it be okay than to sit back and say, oh, I'm not gonna do it at all. So you, you learn more when you try, especially that's how I learn. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and make some documentaries. They'll probably be like five, 10 minutes long, but that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna give it a shot, see what we can do. And you know, who knows, it might turn out great. Probably won't, but it'll still be fun, it'll be fun. So. You know, a lot of things are still going to be the same. We're still going to have fun. Social media is still going to be, you know, goofing off, having comments and and sharing things and, and just, you know, spreading baseball. That's, that's really the goal. Um, but there are going to be some changes. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and look at that and say, you know what? No, we, we can still be on board with that. We still like what you're doing. And once again, Patreon, if you are interested in supporting not any know it all to help cover the cost of the site, to cover the cost of travel to get to games, things like that to help me continue to provide photos for players uh, who maybe wouldn't have those. Uh, quick example, I went to Arizona last year and I photographed a community college game down there. And after the, I got back, I got an email from one of the players who said that he had never had photos taken of him why he was playing. He's a college player, a guy who had played for years and he didn't have photos of him playing. I just, no one had ever taken photos of him in action. And so I got him, uh, I sold him three photos or four photos and ended up sending him like 15 because, you know, I wanted to share them with the guy and, and let him enjoy them. And he loved it. He, he was so excited to have photos of him in action. Even though it was a fall ball game, it meant a lot to him. And I love that. I love that. It means a lot to me. So a lot of things going on. I've got my calendars I'm working on. Literally almost every weekend I have tournaments and things going on. I know I can't get to everything because my wife won't let me. Plus, we are going on vacation this summer because, uh, you know, got to do that. Got to hit Disneyland. Big Disneyland fans. So, you know, 2020 is going to be fun. I'm excited. This may be the most excited I've been for the for 9 inning note all that I've been in probably three or four years. Uh, the site had really kind of been a, kind of a dull for me. I really hadn't changed it up much. Um, but I think it partly because I was restricting myself. And now that I'm saying, no, no, I'm going to do everything that I feel I want to do. I'm going to have fun. I'm excited. I'm excited for the things that are going to come out. I'm excited for the discussions we're going to have. And once again, if you are, are sitting here and you're listening to this and you're like, wow, 
you know, that, that's all great, but I would really like you to do this in 2020. Put it in the comments below. I Man, I read all the comments. I check everything. I'm, in fact, I'm probably on checking things more than I need to be, but please leave a comment saying, this is what I want to see in 2020. And you know what? If I can do it, I'm, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's just that easy. So once again, check the link for Patreon. You know, if you can support me and not even know it all, that'd be awesome because I don't, I'm a stay at home dad. This is what I do. Um, and it hasn't really been a money maker. Uh, in fact, I think last year I ended up losing $2,000 in total with all the stuff that traveling gas and food and all that stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I'm just hoping to kind of offset costs a little bit just so I can keep things going. Cause at some point I'm going to have to look at this and go, is the, is the cost worth the reward? So I hope it is. I'm going to keep doing it and we'll see. So guys, once again, I'm Josh, the 98 know-it-all. This is kind of 2020 looking forward and I hope that, uh, we have a great year. I'm sure we will. I'm excited to see where it goes. So with that, guys, have a good day. For, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And you know what? Baseball season is right around the corner. See you guys.